In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make LME liquid culture, that's light malt extract liquid culture at home. I was recently grown some cordyceps and the instructions that came with the cordyceps said to make a very thick, very nutrient rich light malt extract liquid culture. While I did trust what the vendor was saying, I still decided to make my own batch with less nutrients in just to compare it and instead of covering that in that video which will come later uh, i'm just going to cover it in a separate video now where i can go into more detail so first thing you want to do is weigh out one gram of light malt extract then pour this into a measuring jug And next, add 600 milliliters of water to the measuring jug. And then you just want to mix this in with a spoon until you can't see any of the light malt extract. Just be careful when you're handling light malt extract around water because it's very hydrophilic, which means that it just absorbs water from everywhere. And if you get water in it, it starts to clump. You don't want that happening inside the bag of light malt extract that you've purchased because it will go bad quite easily. So next thing you want to do is get your jaws together and then fill the top of your jaw with a piece of muslin cloth and then pour the mixture through the muslin cloth. This will filter out a lot of the sediment that is inside the mixture and it lets you get a cleaner, clear liquid culture. Repeat this step for each of the jaws and then put the lids on the jaws. When you're storing your light malt extract, you want to make sure you push all the air out of the packaging as possible, like I'm doing here, and then zip it up, and this means it'll keep for longer. So this lid here just has basic micropore tape, and this lid here just has a straight injection port so I've loosened the lid a little bit so that the pressure can equalize in the jaw when it gets sterilized. This lid has a standard gas exchange and injection port so you want to put foil over your lids and then pack the jaws into a pressure cooker which is being lined with a steaming rack and then add about 2000 milliliters that's two quarts of water to the pressure cooker Finally, you want to sterilize this at 15 PSI for about 15 to 20 minutes. So this is what the jaws look like when they've been grown for a couple of weeks. The one on the left I only injected with 1cc of shiitake and I didn't shake the injection needle properly so it hasn't had much growth. The middle one is cordyceps and 
Yeah, it's a bit crazy, it's cordyceps. It kind of sticks to the edge of the jaw and it's really difficult to get it off, even when you use one of them magnet exteras. And the one on the right is a freckled chestnut and that has grown perfectly, so I'm happy with that.